All right, girls, boy. What's uh, Kabuchin? How we pick that one? Um, it was on the website. Can I show this? But why that one? There were because thousands Sean of Because wanted animals. to do a monkey, and we were going through monkeys, and they, I mean, I saw the monkey, and she was like, oh, we should do this one. So we picked it. And Jolene was just along for the ride? Yep. Your hair turned green, huh? Okay, cool. Um, Jolene, why don't you start off? Why don't you tell us something cool about the capuchin or something about the capuchin? Anything you like. Anything. What was the coolest thing you learned about it? It has a white face. I know that. It's a white face. Sharp teeth. It has sharp teeth. Okay. What, is, what does it eat, Jolene? Is it like a... Does it eat like plants? Does it eat meat? Both? It eats eggs. It eats eggs? Okay. What else, guys? What else do you guys have? Uh, it lives in Costa Rica. What? It lives in Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Rashawn. Let's show us where Costa Rica is. Costa Rica is like over here, but they're not like. Whoa, wait, you just showed half of the world. <laughs> <laughs> like My, here. Go, you have to stand on the yeah, stand on sure. something. Okay, so. And they're like more, they're all, they're spread it out. They're not like in just one area. They're like kind of like Puerto Rico, I think. Costa Rica. Yeah. Puerto Rico and Costa Rica are pretty close together. Yeah. yeah. So they're, they live in that, in the Caribbean type. Time frame. Because I see you have on your map, you have just that Caribbean. Scoot back a little bit, Rosh Hashanah. So you can see that red spot there. So they live down in the Caribbean. Okay. What else? Amanda, what were you going to say? About what? Well, he said they lived in Costa Rica, and you were saying something else. There's omnivores there? Oh, they're omnivores? I don't know. So they're omnivores? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. They are. Okay. So Jolene said eggs. What other kind of things do you guys have? Um... Plums, fruit. Some fruit, plums, I heard. Uh, they would eat like small animals like snakes and rabbits, insects. You got that right, Amanda? I don't know where you found that out, but sure. That's true. Okay. What else do we have? They use their tails to like climb around and they can like grab things with their tails. Do you know what they call that, Amanda? Call what? A tail that you can grab things with. No. Anybody know? No, no, don't, guys. Laura, don't. Rajan, you know? It's a resource. Well, yeah. Do you know what it is, Jolene? You know, Gavin? A natural selection. No. Oh, I, I, know I have Laura. questions. A special what? tail. Hang on. You know, Laura? It's a prehensile tail. Prehensile. Laura, what is that? Prehensile means that it can, like, wrap around stuff and... I knew that. Nice. Right. If you can eat snakes, why is that the thing that it don't do the same? Because the big it's snake eats them, and that's a big snake. Yeah. So little, it would eat little snakes, and it would get eaten by big snakes. It makes sense. Sure. Okay. okay. So prehensile tails, so they can actually. A lot of times, if you watched in the video that we watched, remember with the people eating on the fig trees, they were actually hanging by their tail and eating. Did you guys notice that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that was a pretty common thing. Like that. Oh yeah. What else? Um, they travel every day. Like Do they live in groups or are they by themselves? No, they're they, groups. They're from, they can be like from like 10 to like 40. Whoa, that's a lot. You guys have any questions? Mm -hmm. Good. They kill one of us. Yeah. Like it's like this well, that's the thing. We don't know because you guys didn't tell us. How big are they? They're, they're like 10, 4 to 12 pounds. So think of like a cat. So little fellers. Yeah. Well, if it bit you in the leg, it would hurt, but otherwise, no. Well, it depends. Like, if they're um, getting food and stuff, they go up high. And then they stay in, like, low branches. Like they sleep there? Yeah. Maybe the canopy to the other side. Yeah. You guys ever seen the Theron movie? The movies a lot. You ever seen the movie like Outbreak? They're in or like? Did you ever watch yeah. Friends? Back in the day? Oh, I did. Yeah. Yeah, they had a monkey. monkey yeah, monkey. Ross had a monkey. Yeah, so, yeah, Night at the Museum. There, it, that kind of monkey's in lots of Indiana different things Jones. because it's kind of small and they're pretty easily be trained. Yeah, uh, like the white faced capuchin is in We Bought a Zoo. Oh, is it? They're also like white throated capuchins and white something else, white neck. 
So it just depends on which part of them is colored differently. Cool. Laura, you have a question? You're just waving at me? Stop waving at me, Laura. What else? Anything else you guys want to tell us about? So your location means habitat. Is that what you guys were yeah. trying to tell me? Okay. Interesting. So found in the canopy, they're omnivores. Thane has a question for you guys. Do you guys know why it's spread out all over Costa Rica and places like that? They were taken as pets and stuff. Like a lot of like uh, the people that because they move. No, no, because the people that like sailed America, they would <coughs> they took them and then they would take them back over and sell in them. The, in the sixteen hundreds, uh, <laughs> kind of pirates. Stuff. Pirates would uh, take pooch and monkeys as pets, yeah. and they would go places to places, and wherever they kept their stuff, they kept uh, pooch and monkeys. And so when they went, they would keep it on an island, and an island, and an island. That's how, that's how it happened. So they're spread all through the Caribbean Sea. And he's right, yeah. They, and, and you were right, too, Rishon. They would, just not the pirate people. Yeah, they would take them place to place, and then you get a population of capuchins that were living in, on an island, and some would escape, and then they would keep reproducing, and we'd have population of capuchins. Yeah. Uh, so location, it makes a nest. Yeah. They make nests for like their youngs. It's pretty common. Things like orangutans, they'll make nests every night. Did you guys know that? Every night. Yeah, huge ones, big ones. <coughs> they they nest no, on a niche. How do they mark their territory? They spray, put the pee. They pee on their hands and their feet, mm -hmm. and they just walk around. Yep. There's a lot of them too that <laughs> will do that, and then they'll they'll touch things, like as they walk. There's some even that will have not capuchins, but some will have scent glands, like on their wrists. So instead of it being pee, and that could be what it is too, but instead of being pee, it will those use that scent. Some will big cats. Too. Some do. They pee most of the time. Yeah. Best way to keep animals out, even you know, like my grandpa always told me when we had uh, sweet corn. And you try to keep the raccoons out of it. What are you supposed to do? He's raccoon. He no, he always just tells us to go out and pee out, the, out there. He did, because it would keep the, keep the raccoons away. Allegedly. I don't know if it really happened. But. Anything else, guys, that you want to tell us? Their tails are as big as their body. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Oh, they're really good at spreading seeds. Like their purpose is like spreading seeds. How do they do that, Rashawn? They eat and then they'll poop and then they also like the rub up against flowers and then go eat from different flowers. Do you remember the stinky flower that's in my closet right now? Mm -hmm. Remember all that white stuff that's inside? Mm -hmm. That's the pollen. And so it tracks insects and monkeys will do this, bees do it, all kinds of stuff. Cool. All right, guys, give them a hand. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, Connor has a question. Sorry, Connor. What is capuchin? Capuchin? It's white. just the name of the monkey. I don't know what it means. Do you guys know what I mean? I don't know. Well, sometimes, some, sometimes names mean something, but I don't know if it does. Well, All right, give him a hand. Yay! Woo!